Hey guys, so Shannon Man here again, and we're just out in uh, Las Cruces. We're gonna go get some food. We decided we're gonna try out the Olive Garden today. We haven't been there in quite a while, so uh, check it out, see how it goes, and bring you along with me. So come on. guys so we're at Olive Garden right now it's an Italian place and it's a chain restaurant so it's not gonna be like the fanciest food in the world but the food's not bad and especially for the amount of food they give you the price and the quality is pretty good so come on inside and let's check it out hey guys so we're at Olive Garden now and we just sat down we're gonna try out the menu it's pretty crowded and a bit loud in here so sorry if you can't really hear me that well but let me show you the menu so here's the menu And that's the menu. The Italian place, as you can see, it's really good food. What I really like is the breadsticks and the salad. There's never any breadsticks, never any salad. So we're gonna order some stuff and we'll uh, taste it, and check it out, and show you what we got. All right, so we got our appetizers now. We got the uh, lasagna frita, and then they brought the salad and the breadsticks also. So here, to let you check that out. So this is the lasagna frita. It's basically lasagna noodles, and it's got cheese and sauce and everything. It's basically kind of like a lasagna, but it's in an appetizer form, just kind of chopped up and put in like little single size portions. So it's actually really good, and really yummy, and it's fried and crispy. Um, it tastes really good. And here we have all the free breadsticks and a never ending salad as well. The salad is really good. What I really like about the salad is the dressing mostly. And then you just dip the breadsticks into that leftover dressing at the bottom of the bowl. It's really, really good. But you guys really should check it out. Alright, so this is the lasagna frita that we got. I'm gonna chop into this just to let you see. So it's, it's a, like a fried lasagna noodle with some ricotta cheese in it and some cheese on top and a little marinara. And it's really good. It's a nice tasty little bite just for an appetizer, uh, just to start off the meal. And it's really, really good. All right guys, so our food's here now. I got the braised beef and Asiago filled tortellini. Which is this right here. So it's got the nice juicy chunks of braised beef and some nice Asiago tortellini with a basil marsala sauce. And then she over here got the sirloin and lobster ravioli. So it's a nice juicy sirloin with some ravioli filled with lobster and cheese as well. So we're gonna check these out. We're gonna eat them up and uh, see how they taste and let you know how it goes. Uh, after that, we're probably gonna get some dessert. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, guys. So I tried my meal here. It's actually pretty darn good. The sauce is really light, so it's not overpowering. The tortellini's got some cheese in it. It's got Asiago cheese in it, and it's really creamy and light. And then the beef is really, really tender. It's also got some portobello mushrooms hidden around in here, and it just kind of gives it a little accent, but it's really, really good. I also tried out the lobster ravioli and the sirloin over here. The sirloin was really good. It's just a regular sirloin, but it tastes pretty good. But what really is good is this lobster ravioli. So it's nice and creamy on the inside. Just has a little light touch of the lobster flavor, and then it's got these sun dried tomatoes on top. It's really, really good. I like that one a lot. All right, guys, so we finished eating up our food. I actually had to get a box to go because I couldn't finish all mine. But uh, it's time for dessert. So we went ahead and ordered dessert ready. Right? And when it comes, I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. It should be yummy. It looked really yummy in the picture. Uh, hopefully, it tastes as good as it looks. But let's check it out. All right, guys, so the dessert's here. I'm really excited about it. It should be really yummy. I've had a lemon cream cake before at a different restaurant that I really really love and hopefully this one can stand up to that one. So you see it's a lemon cream cake is what we got. It's uh, just a light uh, yellow cake, powdered sugar on top, it's got uh, lemon flavor inside of it and then it's got this nice cream in the middle which has got a light uh, lemony flavor to it as well. It's really light and sweet. It's not super powerful strong lemon flavor or super sweet. Uh, it's really light and I really like it. It's a nice little accent for after dinner when you want some dessert or you want something a little sweet but you don't really want to eat like a big old chocolate cake or like an ice cream or anything like that. But hey, just get into the side of it a little bit. Let me show you what it looks like. Like I said, it's pretty light. And fluffy. 
Oh yeah, it's really good. The only thing I'm missing on this is the other restaurant I usually get this at. It comes with like a little lemon wedge on the side that you can kind of squirt on top. I think this would be really good if it had that as well. Just to add a little bit more of that lemon bite to it. Just kind of accent the sweetness, but it's really good. If you guys ever come to Olive Garden, I recommend you try the lemon cake for dessert. It's great. They have a bunch of other desserts, but uh, this one is definitely my favorite. Um, also, again, like you saw, we got a couple of the things on the menu, but they do have regular things like pasta and all kinds of normal spaghetti meatballs, those kind of things. And then as well, if you don't want anything like that, you can also just get the plain soup and salad and breadsticks, like never ending all you want for your meal as well, if that's something that you like. But anyway guys, I'm going to eat this and then uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Alright guys, so we're done eating at Olive Garden now. Uh, the food was pretty good. Um, the stuff that we got wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best meals that we've gotten at Olive Garden. Like I said, they also have other pastas and things like that. So I encourage you to try different things. Um, we probably come back. A lot of the things that people come here for, one of the big things Olive Garden is known for is their soup and their breadsticks especially. So if that's what you want, then um, I mean you can come here and just get that and it's pretty good. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Like, give it a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of Olive Garden. Subscribe if you're not and uh, until next time.